So silymarin is a group of certain phytonutrients that make up 60% of this herb. And between 40 and 90 AD, it was used for snake bites. In the 16th century, it was used for jaundice, which is a liver problem, as well as gallstones. And then in the 19th century, it was used for liver conditions and liver disease. Now, just as a side note, it has a very short shelf life. So if you're taking this for some type of condition, you'd want to take repeated doses throughout the day. Because if you only take it one time a day, your body or your liver and the bile is going to get rid of it. So you want to keep it in your body throughout the day as you're trying to deal with whatever condition you're trying to deal with, whether it's toxicity or you're trying to support the liver in, in a certain way. But let's go through the unique benefits. So number one, it reduces liver and kidney toxicity. Now, this toxicity can come from Tylenol poisoning to alcohol poisoning to poisoning from mushrooms, and the list goes on and on and on. The silymarin in milk thistle is hepatoprotective. It protects the liver cells. All right, number two, it, it will benefit an alcoholic greatly simply because all the alcohol is creating toxicity to the liver. So it's going to extend the longevity of the liver. All right, number three, it counters toxicity from chemotherapy. Number four, it can prevent fibrosis, which is scar tissue of the liver because it reduces liver inflammation. So it's really good for people with hepatitis, not to mention people that have a fatty liver because that's the next thing it can do. Number five, it can modulate insulin resistance. So if you have a lot of insulin resistance in your body, silymarin is a really good compound to take to help. And if you're improving insulin resistance, you're going to decrease insulin and you're going to decrease fat on your liver. All right, number six, it's good for poisonous mushrooms. All right, number seven, it can help regenerate liver cells. Number eight, it's even good for depression. And number nine, it can help prostate enlargement. As well as number 10, there's studies that show that it can actually improve varicose veins. So milk thistle is a powerful herb. I would recommend growing it in your garden because it's a great natural remedy that has very minimal side effects. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning, it goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. 
then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.